All right, y'all, Water God TV, man. We back with another one. Y'all know we do. We pushing help, up and better understanding the self. So listen, y'all know on this channel, I've been talking about Fannie Willis, Nathan Wade. It's been some, you know, you, we got the phone records, but now we got Fannie Willis is, you know, explaining that the phone records are not true. Okay, I'm going to go over this article real quick. Uh, not this article, but this video. We're going to hear about the evidence, what Fannie is giving to the to the state and how she's trying to say that this isn't real evidence that happened to her. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell. Push me in the algorithm, you know, so I can stay alive in the YouTube street. Instead, what she did was 10 times worse and possibly the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. We have the cell phone data. We know for a fact that Nathan Wade was visiting her at her condo, but she is now denying this, or rather she is refuting the claim. She's refuting the data in the most idiotic way imaginable. Breaking, Fannie Willis responds to a fair cell data, claiming her calendars and emails prove that she wasn't with Nathan Wade, but the dates don't match up. It appears Fannie Willis is trying to exclude evidence. Soros bags Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis responded to a new court filing using her paramour Nathan Wade's cell phone data to determine whether the two lied to the court about when their romantic relationship began. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, authorities geo-tracked Nathan Wade and found that Nathan Wade made at least 35 visits to Fannie Willis's Hapeville neighborhood before he was hired as the lead prosecutor in the Lawfare Rico case against President Trump and 18 associates. Now, a desperate Fannie Willis responded to the latest allegations in a court filing on Friday evening. The records do nothing more than demonstrate that Special Prosecutor Wade's telephone was located somewhere within a densely populated multiple mile radius where various residents, restaurants, bars, nightclubs, and other businesses are located, Fannie Willis said in a motion reviewed by this reporter. Additionally, Fannie Willis submitted her calendar and emails to, quote, prove that she wasn't with Nathan Wade on September 11th and 12th and November 30th, 2021, but the dates don't match up with when the hookups took place. Screenshots of Fannie Willis's calendar and emails with the dates that don't match. So the dates that are relevant here, the big hookups that she's denied essentially the times where Nathan Wade went for a late night booty call at Mrs. Willis's home and then left early in the morning were on September 11th, September 12th, and November 30th of 2021. Fannie Willis is now attempting to deny these claims, to disprove these claims, by releasing a couple schedules, as you can see here on the screen, on the dates of April 12th, 2021, April 20th, 2021, and May 10th, 2021. Well, look, she was busy from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m and from lunchtime to three on these three dates, MAGA chud racists BTFO. You know, the typical response to this kind of thing, does it say stupid on my forehead? She's digging an even deeper hole. Every single day, Fannie Willis digs the hole even deeper. And it's kind of funny because Fannie Willis's whole thing, I mean, her whole shtick, you know, how she got elected was as this sort of reformer who was gonna root out all the corruption. She then, of course, acted even more corrupt than her predecessors. And now she seems to be plunging the entire judicial system of Atlanta straight into the ground. Whatever credibility was left will no longer remain once Fannie Willis is done. Her responses have been absolutely hilarious. Initially, she played the race card. All the people focusing on Nathan Wade are a bunch of racists. Okay, not exactly a defense. Then, of course, it was, well, actually, we're in a relationship, but it only started afterwards. What evidence did she had? Well, her father testified that he never met Nathan Wade. Oh, well, I guess that pretty much wraps it. Then it turns out that they all lied under oath. We have the cell phone data. Then she responds with this nonsense. And now, on top of all of it, to make matters worse for herself, she's now denying the credibility and the accuracy of the cell phone tracking software. Kanakoa the Great on Twitter, and by the way, I mean, he's been fantastic on the story. You guys should all be following him on Twitter. Breaking in court proceedings, Fannie Willis argues that the Atlanta Police Department's cell phone tracking software in use since 2017 cannot prove anything relevant and provides little evidentiary value. Under DA Fannie Willis's jurisdiction, the Atlanta Police Department has utilized Hawk Analytics CellHawk software since 2017. So she's essentially saying that the data can't be trusted. I find that really interesting. I'm not sure if you guys ever watch TV shows like The First 48, but in so many homicides, 
homicide cases, what ends up being the nail in the coffin for some of these criminals in their trial is cell phone geolocation data. In other words, Fannie Willis has absolutely no issue putting criminals behind bars using cell phone location data as evidence, but now that that location data is being used against her, it has little evidentiary value. I wonder how many people she's put behind bars using cell phone data as evidence, yet she has the audacity to claim that it is little evidentiary value. Another horribly embarrassing moment. Fannie Willis is clearly in over her head here. She's obviously a corrupt incompetent who should have probably never been elected into the position in the first place. I mean, just think about it. She's the top lawyer, essentially, the top prosecutor in Fulton County, and these are the arguments that she's making. Yeah, how about we not elect people into such incredible prestigious positions of power based on skin color and gender? This is what you get. Corrupt actors who feel they're above it all, acting a fool, turning the justice system over on its head, causing irreparable damage to the county and frankly the state's credibility. Good job, Fanny. Congratulations, you played yourself. What an absolute joke. This Fanny Willis saga is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, and speaking of Fanny Willis's mounting issues, you know that whistleblower from her office that we were covering maybe three weeks ago? Well, Jim Jordan just confirmed that that whistleblower is now working with House Republicans. I was talking about this in the office and I said, I said, Bonnie Wade, and it was like a Freudian slip, you know, like I, I, it's Bonnie Willis and Nathan Wade. So, uh, uh, no, we haven't heard back from her yet. We'll see what we get from her. But there's a whistleblower in her office who we have talked to, our, the committee staff. Yeah, and she, uh, the whistleblower, uh, I think she's like four foot eleven. but Bonnie Willis had seven police like escort her out when, when she fired this lady because this lady raised the concern that Miss Willis was not spending federal funds and the, not following the grant, uh, the rules of the grant Act and, and, and the grant dollars. In the, in the appropriate manner. So uh, she raised this concern and then Fonnie Willis fired her. She's now talking with our office and we'll see where that goes. And that's why we we subpoenaed for records and documents related to this. So I guess more to come on the Fannie Willis story. I'm just completely shocked that she still hasn't resigned in absolute shame. Anyways, that All right, y'all. So that's it for the, uh, for Fannie. So you see Fannie Willis, right? She's trying to say she convicts people all the time on cell phone data right criminals but now she's trying to say that the cell phone for her is not accurate so let me know what y'all think about that man it's just no accountability i guess she's just trying to fight this tooth and nail she don't really want to be accountable for the punishment but i think she's all the all but guilty you know the public sees it everybody see it but hey let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace and love. Make sure you get your free water test at Envirely.com. Here we got Mr. Pollock. He had a cornfield. He took advantage of a free water test from us. And this is what we found in this water. We found sulfur. We found hardness. And we solved these problems with an easy fix of two tanks. So get your free water test today. Stay blessed. Click the link below.